Welcome back to Key Talks, everybody. So today we got some big news. First of all, Taproot, which is the soft fork for Bitcoin's new update, is now live. The article just posted today says the Bitcoin's network is in the news today after it just activated Taproot, one of its most significant updates since 2017. Its last update, Segregated Witness, also known as SegWit, was first integrated to address Bitcoin's scaling issue. Here is also the Twitter post. Taproot is a soft fork to the Bitcoin network, one, one that will improve scripting capabilities and privacy. It also enables something called MAST, according to taproot.watch. MAST can help make smart contracts more efficient and private by only revealing the relevant parts of the contract when spending. The update will also add something known as GNOR signatures, which essentially makes multi-signature transactions unreadable. According to Bitcoin Miner, this activation comes on the back of a 90% locked in consensus from miners and mining pools between blocks 709488 and 709632. The fact that this Bitcoin update is happening now towards the tail end of the Bitcoin cycle, I don't know if it's a coincidence, so you guys tell me in the comments below. Next we have Ripple. Ripple powers through a first of its kind payment corridor uh, between the UAE and Pakistan. So the article says that a bank, one of Pakistan's largest private banks has joined forces with Lulu Exchange, the Abu Dhabi based remittance and foreign exchange company in order to open a remittance corridor. Payments between the two countries will be conducted with the help of the RippleNet cloud service. Earlier this year, Lulu Exchange also opened remittance corridors to India and Egypt. Pakistanis constitute roughly 12.5% of the total population of the United Arab Emirates. The UAE is also the second largest source of the remittance to for Pakistan, guys. The fact that there is hap there's going to be more processing happening right now and ri for Ripple too, and crypto as a whole market, it's, it's a huge bullish sign for the tail end for the Bitcoin cycle today. And finally, guys, we have Santander. The big bank is set to launch Spain's first Bitcoin ETF in Spain despite their regulatory challenges. Now, Spain's banking giant Santander is in the process of launching its first Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF in the country. According to the bank's officials, the product has been in the works for a while, mainly driven by customer demand. It's worth noting that although the institution is planning the launch, no such product has been registered with the CNMV, the Spanish Securities Regulatory Agency. Furthermore, um, they did not provide a timeline regarding the availability of the ETF. The move by Santander is considered a game changer since a majority of Spanish financial asset managers have shown less interest in putting money behind digital currencies. The reluctance possibly stems from a developing crypto ecosystem coupled with a lack of clear regulation. And those are the biggest headlines today on November 14th. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you appreciate it and like the information. If you like this content and you want this video to reach out to other people and you want to support me, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Uh, the YouTube algorithm will push this video out to further viewers. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Take care.